everyone, welcome back to 74% of the game. We're playing Jack and Daxter, and we're still running around doing some things. So last episode we were talking about Ghostbusters, and the one thing I wanted to mention to you, because I found it very, like, rough, is one of the biggest things that I was outraged about when I saw the movie, because I was very concerned about some things, and even though it didn't give me any chuckle, I thought, okay, maybe, maybe this has merit somehow, some way, you know? It's salvageable. And one of the biggest things is, I don't like to be... I try my best in, in all manners of things to try to not be sexist, you know what I mean? Yeah. At all. I, I try to always think that women and men deserve the same pay rate. I think that, oh, you yeah. know, everybody, you get paid for what you do. I, I really think women are misrepresented, and I, and I do understand that. I do. But Ghostbusters wasn't sexist against women, right? It was just a buddy comedy with a bunch of guys hanging out, c catching ghosts. They didn't exclude women because they thought, oh, we don't like women and we're sexist against women. No, they did it because they were a bunch of comedy actors for, from SNL and they were like, hey, let's hang out and do yeah. a buddy thing together. And they weren't at all sexist. And for whatever reason, this movie decided let's be as sexist as possible. All the men are either idiots or villains. Mm -hmm. And every kind of joke they try to play is sexualized. Like, there's a scene where Melissa McCarthy hears a knock on the door, and it ends up being a ghost, but she thinks it's her friends. And she's like, guys, did you lose your keys again? I scrapped mine to buy bra strap. That's how I always keep track of mine. Mm -hmm. And it's like, is that supposed to be funny? Oh, look at me, I'm a, wim I'm a woman, so the joke lands. Like, it just, just, it was, like, flopping. Like, every joke they made was just kind of... You know what they do to the, one of the, the final villain, how they destroy the final villain? Hmm. They take all the streams and hit it in the nuts. It's fucking silly. And they're like, yeah, we hit it in the nuts! Haha, <laughs> we're women! And it's just like, Jesus in, Christ! In like, day and age, it was so sexist, dude. We it care was, so much about being PC and getting at everybody's yeah, chance. Yeah, no. It, it's stupid, the attempts people are making yeah. to... But There's no need for that. I, I, and, I, and I understand, but at a point I'm like, okay, fine, you know what I mean? You're, oh, you're women, you made you made sexist jokes, we get it, it's funny, but at the same point I'm like, I'm not laughing. Like, And and the girls weren't really laughing either, you know what I mean? A lot of people started walking out of the theater right as Did soon they? as the credits hit. Yeah, as soon as the credits hit, people were out. And there was an extra, damn it, and there was an extra scene at the end um, that everybody missed that, they're, that basically they're saying already they know for a fact they're making the second one. Is this gonna even make enough money to do that? Because there have been other movies, yeah, better movies, like that, it, uh, like because it because it, it had an ending, like an ending, ending. We're like, okay, good, this was a remake, it's done, it's over with. Then you got to the end, and they're like, oh yeah, I, have you guys ever heard of Zool? And they're like, no, I never oh. heard of Zool. And then they just ended it, and it was supposed to be like, haha, see you next time, we're gonna fight Zool. Isn't that cool? Isn't that clever? And I'm just like, oh no. <laughs> Yeah, you know, there have like, been other movies where they say in their credits, you know, yeah. return for this next film. Yeah, and it and was it a better just, movie, it, it but is, it just didn't do well. It is never bombing. Got like people are really. It's upset. just not even a realistic idea. No, I'm sorry. A lot of the characters, not. A lot of the characters were really unrealistic too, because apparently, um, and I found it too. The the black comedian, the black lady, yeah, extremely racist, like loud, like like a typical, like what people like a, would consider. Like, 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 Consider a stereotypical. A stereotypical black woman, yes, a loud black oh, woman. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was very, you know. So yeah, I was not a fan. Like I, I, I watched it, I'm like, you know, if I hadn't watched the other Ghostbusters movies, it may have had some merit. But for yeah, fans, yeah. it was it yeah. was tough. They're not doing it justice. I, I, and the only reason Jen kind of liked it a little more than I did was because she got to see all her old Ghostbuster friends again. You know what I mean? She got to see Dan, Dan Aykroyd and everybody hanging out in Ghostbusters. And they paid a lot of homage to like the original films. And she liked that. You know what I mean? Because well, like they had Stay Puff Marshmallow Man show up. And they had, you know, like... Actors. They should have brought them all back. Got called up Sigourney Weaver. What the fuck is Sigourney Weaver doing? And uh, Sigourney Weaver, he's the, he's the... Sigourney Weaver's the lady. Oh, the lady, she's in it. I know, but I'm saying they should have got them all back together. Oh, yeah, they yeah. Made, made an actual... You are yeah. losing it here, buddy. I know, this is a tough area to... I have to walk all the way back! Yeah. Jesus Christ! It's like, uh, for example, guys, uh, the new Independence Day movie... Oh, God. It doesn't have Will Smith. You can cut Will major Smith. characters. Will, oh, I, okay, I thought there was a way to walk. <laughs> I thought there was something hidden under there. 
Yeah, Will did Smith I, was like, uh-uh, yeah. I, I did my part, I'm, I don't want to be a part of this, forget it. He's but, like, this got me my career, I'm not gonna risk it for doing a, you know... But the fucking movies he's making... Yeah, aren't any much honestly, better. Honestly, this can't be any worse, and I think it's gonna be a good movie. I would like to see it, actually. I like the original film. I, I didn't mind they made a sequel, and besides, I like Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Jeff Goldblum's my favorite character, Don't so I was just happy that he was still in the movie. I didn't care if Will Smith was in it or not. Right. He did not. I mean, really, all the more Will Smith's trying to do is what? He's trying to do that fucking uh, DC movie that's going to bomb Suicide. Yeah, Suicide. Yeah, but that's my point, though, that you can cut major characters and still make a sequel. Like, one character missing yeah. ain't going to ruin. They could have easily just done Ghostbusters the same way. And I don't know, I'd watch, I'd watch Suicide Squad, but like, I mean, it looks alright. Yeah, that's the problem, it looks... Problematic? Fuck you, it was right there! Keep dying. <sighs> but, um... We're all the way back oh. here! This is bullshit! Go on! I'm gonna and, try uh, to stay calm. This Fuck is like it. the first time in this game I think we've actually tried to have, like, conversations about things. Yeah. I think it's killing you. Like, oh. normally you're, like, straight up, like, classic. Because this is, this I'm is doing tough platforming. This is what we Everything's do. slippery. Everything's but, um, fucking... But we all know my number one major problem with Suicide Squad, and that's Jared Jay Leto. Jared, Jay Leto. Jared Leto. <laughs> Jay Leto. <laughs> Jared Leto. I mean, don't get me... I'm not trying to be biased or yeah. nothing. I... Uh, I, I love Heath Ledger, and I think he's the greatest Joker that ever was and will be. But there have been other good Jokers. You like Jack mean? Nicholson, yeah. is really good. I'm not saying Jared Leto can't do an alright job. He looks silly. He and, looks uh, like billionaire, you know, mixed with like, I don't know. The voice that he does is almost kind of trying to sound like, you know, I'm not going to keep I'm just going to like, it's almost like he's trying to do a little bit of a heat kind of voice thing. It's not all that original. And, uh, I don't know. I just don't think that it's not going to be as good. Yeah, but uh, everybody else, I'm excited to see Harley Quinn. It's, I really want to see. That's That chick was in Wolf, Wall Street with Leo DiCaprio. Yeah, no, I, don't, I just don't think she's playing the Harley Quinn character very well. That's my problem. Like, I don't know. We've I'm not saying she's gonna be bad, I'm just like, I'm not excited to see it, I guess. But it's nice to see a nice live action. I guess, yeah. But I mean, even the cartoon, like, straight to movie based off the comic books was really dark and really bloody and really good. Like, it was, I, I ought to have you watch that. It's so good. And then when you go to walk into that, you're gonna be like, really? But I think like, it's weird is, like, the first trailer I saw was like, it looked really dark and, like, a really dark, serious film. Yeah, now they're trying now to And now I saw, comedic. like, it's a more, like, yeah, I'm like, did they change things, or... Uh, I don't know. So, I don't know. Uh, I'd watch it, you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely give it a try. Just like I gave Ghostbusters a try. I'll give it a try. I'm just, like, telling you straight up. I, it just doesn't look all that good. I Ben Affleck. At all? I don't see Batman pop up. You should. Batman's in the movie. I know that for a fact. Well, then it should the be Ben Affleck. You would think. They're like, we're just gonna get a stand in. You can't see him. He's, yeah. in, he's in the suit the whole time. No, he was in the original too, like the original comic and the original for thing four. Because I thought uh, I saw, I thought I saw maybe a glimpse of the Batman or something. So I didn't know. Yeah, if I saw that. Fucking, fucking Ben Affleck didn't watch that movie. You see Batman vs Superman? No, I did not. I didn't even watch the first Superman. No. And they're like, well, it's not really a sequel. I said, yes, yeah. it's a fucking sequel, you <laughs> dumbasses. Yeah, it's a fucking sequel. It's a yeah. sequel to Man of Steel. Jesus fucking Christ. Right. I'm like, yeah, I'd like to see. I don't like watching. I, I didn't care enough to see that. So, but like, I wasn't happy about Ben Affleck yeah. being a Who am I missing? Oh, I am missing yeah, stuff. Some eggs. Some Fabergé. <laughs> Fabergé. Fabergé eggs. Where, where are you getting Fabergé eggs from, dude? I have to. I have to go what? up to the top. It's a you know, it's a Fabergé. Egg. Yeah, no, but like, that's what it looks like. There, I have. I have to tell you what. You are one of the only people I have now bonded over over this movie. And I really want to watch this movie with you. I do. We just don't have the time, dude, because we're doing this. But there's a movie. It's like maybe an hour and a half, and I bonded over every, like, most of my friends with this movie. 
and I really want you to see it. It's, it, it's a, it's, they have a Fabergé egg in it. That's what made me remind me of it. But it is by far, think of the worst movie you've ever seen in your entire life. Think of it. You know what that movie is? Can you think of the I worst movie you've I ever seen? Know what the, the one you were just like, I don't know if I could ever watch this movie. Nothing's coming to mind. Nothing's coming to mind. This movie is by far one of the worst films in the history of films. What and I it? really want to watch it. Is it Howard the Duck? I don't understand. No, no. Oh, Howard the Duck is a gem. A gem compared to, uh, compared to this. It is. Oh, there we go. Got it. So what am I missing? I'm just missing one scout fly. I will find that next scout fly, and then we're done with this place, and I never have to come back to this goddamn snowy mountain next time on our channel. But before we go, the name of the movie is An Easter Bunny Puppy. I think you told me about that. It is by far the worst Didn't you watch that film. with Foxfire the night before I watched that with Diablo Foxfire. I've watched that with Thor. I've watched that with Ethan. I've watched that with a lot of people. And every single one of them agreed, like... I, I remember the last time I showed it to somebody, I showed it to Thor and he was sitting on the couch. And he's like, dude, I can't. Please, stop it. Pause it. I can't watch anymore. I'm like, no, dude. Sit through it. Grind through it. Do whatever you can. You have to. And he's just sitting there going, I can't. Dude, he's twitching in his seat. He's like, I can't handle any more of this bullshit. I'm like, dude, you gotta. You gotta. And at the end of the movie, he's like, I can't believe. I can't believe this had a budget. I can't believe this had actors. I he couldn't believe it. He's like, this is ridiculous. This is by far the worst movie I've ever seen. I'm like, yeah. And we're howling the entire time because it's, it's bad. It's bad. It, I would make a drinking game, but I'd be afraid we would die. We would I'm thinking die. about showing it during the bachelor party and just being like, fuck it, guys, let's do it. Ethan's already seen it. He knows. <laughs> let's do make turn it into a drinking party. Jesus Christ, it's bad, dude. It's We might have to do that. It's bad. I'd love to watch it with you sometime when we're not filming. No, we're not filming. We can talk about it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why don't we just watch fucking 20-minute segments of it in between fucking <laughs> yeah. four, you know, yeah. I mean, at least oh, that. Definitely. It's one of those things you have to watch just from beginning to end and just be like, oh, my God. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.